Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another ice fishing episode out here at this beautiful lake. Been here a few times before, made a couple videos. Last time I was here, I absolutely smacked them. I caught like 10 rainbows all over a pound, which is a pretty good day in my book. So I've come out for round two and check it out. So the nice thing about coming to the same spot is I don't have to use my auger. I can just kick the hole get the ice out of it and we're all good to go. So if you've been watching the past couple ice fishing videos, you know that this power bait's just been killing it. We're not gonna fix what ain't broke. This is working. So uh, we are not gonna change it up. Just a little ball of power bait on a pink jig head. And all the fish that I caught last time I was out here came like a foot off the bottom. All right. Here we go, simple as that. I'm gonna get another rod going in my other hole that I was fishing out of. Kick it. There we go. Okay guys, so we got both our rods. If there's one thing I've learned about these fish, they don't want it moving at all. If you're jigging it, they won't touch it. So we've got both the rods just sitting there about a foot, two feet off the bottom. And we should be getting bit here shortly. Whoa, 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 no way. Guys, already got a bite. Already got a bite, I'm not even kidding. I just set the rod down, and then I look over and it's going like that, and it tips over. Wow, that was quick. Fish on, fish on, fish on. You guys, that took like five minutes. That seriously took five minutes. Holy cow. No, he popped off right at the hole. Shoot, he was literally right at the hole. That felt like a decent one. Wow, that did not take long at all. It's just like last time I was here. I was here for like three minutes and I started getting bites. Already off to a good start. That's a bite, that's a bite, that's a bite on this one. That's a bite on this one. Oh, missed him again. That's the fourth one I've missed already. That's getting a bite. Fish on. Fish on, first one. First one. Been here 10 minutes. Hey. Gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. Not a bad one. About a pounder. Whew. Sweet. There we go, guys. First one, been here 10 minutes, had four other bites. Off to a good start. Heck yeah. And uh, we're doing all catch and release today, folks. All catch and release. I've got lots of fish in the freezer, and to be honest, I'm a little burnt out on trout. See ya. I still love it. I'm still gonna do catch and cooks, but I've eaten fish like three times this week already, so. That's why I brought steak. That's a bite, that's a bite, that's a bite. Here we go, number two. Number two. He's coming right to me. There's a little run. Sweet. Nice, another, another one about the same size. I'd say this is the average for this lake. About a pound. We gotta start somewhere. By the end of the day, I wanna have like a three pounder on the ice. <laughs> Sweet though. Number two, here he goes. Hey, this one doesn't have bait on it, which means it got bit and I didn't notice it. That one's getting bit. I can't even put my other rod down the hole because this one's getting bit. He's on it, he's on it. Nope. He spit it. All right, we'll see if he comes back. Probably will. I gotta get this rod down the hole. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Sweet. Heck yeah, dude. There we go. 
another nice rainbow. There we go. About the same size. For this to be the average fish, that's pretty good. Oh, he doesn't want to go back down the hole. See ya. You just gotta weed through those one pounders and in theory, eventually you'll come across at a three, four, five pounder. It is a lot colder today than it was the other day. Like a lot colder. I mean, it's supposed to be snowing right now. It's supposed to be snowing like constantly all week. And it looks like it is on the north end of the lake over there. So it should probably be hitting us shortly. Let's go on a little field trip. I wanna show you guys something. Look at this, look how sketchy this ice is becoming. This is what I had to walk on to get down here. It's really slushy and there's a little bit of water. But if you think that's sketchy, we'll just meander on over here. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That's open water, completely open water. And it goes all the way across the lake. The ice cracked and it's just totally split the entire ice sheet on the whole lake apart. And it's open water all the way over there. So this ice is slowly getting less and less safe day by day. What's crazy is the other day, I was actually watching somebody out on their ATV doing donuts just right there. And then like two days later, it's open water. And here comes the snow, finally. You know, I don't mind fishing in the snow like at all. As long as the wind's not super bad, I could fish in the snow all day long. There we go. There we go. Nope, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. Nice! <laughs> hold on, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, another one. What is that, number four? That was the first bite I've got in like 20 minutes. It's kind of slowed down a little bit, but still a good fish. There he goes. All right, folks, so the bites have kind of slowed down. It's been like 30 minutes since we caught the last fish. We haven't gotten a single bite since then. So if there's one thing I know, once you stop paying attention to the rods and start cooking something, that's when you're gonna get bit. So that's what I'm gonna do. We've got some steak here. I'm gonna whip out my stove, start cooking it. And if I know anything about fishing, that's, that's when we're gonna get bit. So it is a little bit breezy out here. So I'm gonna cook inside my sled so the wind's kind of shielded out. All right. Oh, that feels good. I love lighting up the stove on a cold day. Then I'm gonna put a little vegetable oil in the pan. Just about that much. And I've also got some butter. We'll just dump that whole thing in there. That is quite a bit of butter. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Go ahead and open it up here. Like I said, a little bit burnt out on trout. I've had it like three or four times this week. Oh, are you kidding me? Yep, there's a bite. There's a freaking bite. What did I say? What did I freaking say? Dude, what did I say? Right when I put some butter on the pan, this rod just goes down. That's hilarious. No, yeah, still got the bait on there. We'll drop it back down, see if he comes back. I'm pretty sure when you're cooking steak, you want to heat up the pan really hot. So I'm trying to get the pan super, super hot, and then I'm going to throw the steak on there, try to like give the outside a little crust. At least that's the idea. We'll cook two, save one for later. Ooh, I'm excited. Steak swimming in butter. Literally swimming in butter. And then for seasoning, I have some McCormick Smoky Montreal steak. That one's got a bite. That one's getting a bite. That one's getting a bite. Oh, there he was. There he was. Oh! Missed him. Shoot, took my bait. I knew it. As soon as you start cooking, it doesn't matter what it is, when you just shift your focus to something other than fishing, that's when the fishing's usually the best. 
flip them. Oh, look at that. Oh man. For me personally, I don't care if it's well done, rare, medium rare. I just like meat. But if I had to choose, I'd say medium rare, just slightly red in the middle. I'm not the best cook, obviously. So I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna cook them till I think they're done. Look at that. Still a little bit raw in the middle. I wanted a little more cooked than that. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna take this butter, just pour it right over the steak. Look at that. There we go, guys. Fresh steak on the ice. Caught this morning from the grocery store. Look at that. Slightly rare, cooked perfectly in butter. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit better than fish. Now, I can cook steak on a grill pretty good, you know, just flame grilled, but pan searing is always a little bit more trickier. But I think I did a good job. It's super juicy in the middle, because once you take a steak off, you don't want to cut into it right away. You want to let it sit for a few minutes. And dude, I think I killed it. I love fresh trout, but it's hard to beat a steak. There's a bite. Whoa. Oh, I missed him. How did I miss him? Did you guys see that? My rod was going in the water. It was going down and I still have my bait. What was that? Set the hook and he was gone. Shoot. No, no. That was the first bite I've had in well over an hour. It has been slow. The snow has come. The groups that were over there have left. Cannot afford to miss fish like that. Ugh. There we go. There we go, on the drop. On the drop. Whoa, wow, he's coming right to me. That's a good run, that's a good run. Oh, it, that hole's icing up. Please don't break off. He's probably just shredding my line. Oh, that's a good fish. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. This is the biggest one. This is the biggest one. Fatty, fatty. <laughs> there we go. First fish in like an hour. Actually, over an hour. Look at that, sweet. Big old fat rainbow. He ate it on the drop, right when I dropped it back down there. He was on the prowl. Well, there we go, I think that's number five of the day. We'll get him back quick here. Quick catch and release. And I saved my power bait. Woo hoo, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, we're having fun out here, folks. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, it's a fish. Gotta pass the time somehow. Hooked up, hooked up finally. Guys, guess how long it's been since the last fish? Two hours, no! <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> oh, well. All right guys, well, that's gonna do it for me out here. I didn't get any more bites, no more fish. In fact, the last three hours of the day, it was just, nothing but but we did catch a handful of good fish there at the beginning so not bad not a bad day i'm happy with it hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one